yeah, Griffin Park obviously uh, means the world to me because my grandparents live on the Brook Road. Been here, uh, coming up and down here now for almost 50 years, I'd say. There are a lot of memories, especially with my, my grandparents being here. Uh, Robert Mead, uh, my granddad, would take me and we'd go in the uh, Bramer end, I believe it used to be then. Uh, and um, he used to take us in there and it used to be great. The ground, obviously you've got the four pubs on the corner, which is great because it's, it's just something special. But the community itself is fantastic. Uh, always nice to come here and uh, after the games, always welcome in all the pubs. We welcome the away supporters. We go away to a lot of games, they don't want us near them. So I think this is a, a great place to be, a great club to support. Started to come here as a season ticket holder 25 years ago because I knew uh, I had a son being born, so I wanted to make sure he was a true B. We go to Griffin Park and it's just electric. There's no chance we would have supported no. Brentford without Dad, obviously. Brentford are so close to promotion. Three teams can still mathematically catch them. So the Preston game was um, amazing. He's got to ground Brentford. What a penalty. They've got one. And I remember Judge scoring the penalty. From the spot, converts. Down the middle, firmly struck. Brentford lead. Um, and that stands out. That goal is sort of pinnacle to like the best atmosphere I think I've seen at Griff Griffin Park. And we're right behind the goal and it's, it's one of the best best feelings you can ever feel. And then um, the final whistle went. Brentford are promoted to the championship. Results elsewhere have gone their way. That is the best experience. I remember everyone had Harley Dean on our shoulders and that. And Alan Judge's penalty is enough to send Brentford into the championship for the first time in 20 odd years. As I said, that's the sort of the sort of ground you can do that. The Emirates is Wembley, you've got to climb over the things, you can't do the pitch. The move to the new stadium has been a very emotional time for us all. Especially when you see all the farewell Griffin Park signs. When we first heard about the idea to make a watch using the metal from Griffin Park, we were blown away. If we have children now that they won't be able to go to the the, game, the, the games at Griffin Park, like we have growing up, it's, it's quite a, uh, it's quite, it's quite upsetting, really, isn't it? Because it's, it's a, it's a lovely place to be, and uh, yeah, to, to be able to, if I was to have one of the watches, to have a bit of your Saturday, Tuesday night home with you is something quite incredible. Do you know what I mean? Um, and it's something that probably not a lot of uh, teams would have done. So not, not every team is going to have a bit of their old stadium on their wrist. Just, we've, we've been such a small club in so many people's eyes, like coming up from League Two and then we just went League One for a few years and then went straight back to the Championship. You can think of it as an end of an era, but really it's the start of a new chapter. <laughs> It's about keeping the memories alive across all the generations.